All right, so now we have a 3D piece of geometry that's cleaned up and has an overhang. So let's go in and make some G-code. This time you'll run slicer, just like always. And when you get into slicer, you'll load your configuration as always. In this case, it's Spider-Man. And the only difference is that when you're dealing with something that has an overhang, you have to make sure that this feature is on support material. And right now the pattern spacing is set only to three millimeters. Uh, this is a really small thing that I'm printing out. I want you to print out. So I'm going to actually choose to be two millimeters there. So every two millimeters it will make a, a new one. Also, since this is a very small piece of geometry, um, I could use a raft. So I'm going to show you what that looks like too by clicking this to one. A raft is something that a very small part can sit on and then when it's done we have to remove it with like an exacto knife. Okay. Anytime you got small objects, probably a raft is needed. If you're looking at um, an overhang, you have to have support materials. So this, and this is essential. This is essential to know that this lesson has both of those. In the fact that at the base it's very small, 10 millimeters, and then it does have an overhang. But you're only going to see what it an overhang is and what support material is and what raft layers are by actually printing the object. So go ahead and export this. And that's what you would save to your thumb drive in order to go print it. Enjoy.